gonna mug me. I might gotta mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Daryl and Camilla are a boxing match made in heaven. It's not Something funny, like Daryl. This is our wedding. Like, we're talking. And you can stand on the ring. And the wedding plans have them down for the count. I've got so much stuff going on. What are you going to do? Jane Deus Hinch is a wedding planner extraordinaire who has worked with a lot of tools. But this time, will Jane be able to manage one very big one? Where the f is the wedding planner? Exceptionally rude. For Camilla, Daryl was a regular knight in cheesy armor. I tried to pick up her friend, and her friend had a boyfriend, and she said no. And Camilla wasn't too jazzed about being second fiddle. I accidentally gave him the right phone number. But they obviously made the right connection somewhere along the line because they now have a young family. You have the baby crying. Because she's seeing mommy's efforts. Too. Trying to plan this wedding with a three-year-old and an eight-month-old, it's like a complete disaster. What's been done so far would be that um, the engagement. That's swell, because the wedding is a whole 10 days away. I'm taking care of the wedding ceremony. It's going to be an outdoor site. I should get out there, I guess, one of these days to take a look and plan it better, but we got time. And I'm like, well, what happens if? And he's like, don't worry about it. I just threw her out after a while. <laughs> you name it, we argued about it. And Daryl isn't the only one Camilla is at odds with. My mother is inviting half the world. How is the wedding plans going? Girl, I'm so excited. Bob! Diane! You no, know, my daughter is getting married, and I want you to come to her wedding. Oh, really? You coming? Yes, I'm coming. Good, good. What about your sister? Yes. The whole family? Man, this wedding list is going out of hand. Her mother's inviting everybody under the sun. Sometimes I feel I'm getting married. <laughs> I really don't feel that this is my wedding. Nothing's on time, nothing's done. Um, I'll be even lucky if the, the priest shows up. But they have done something right. They've sent out a wedding SOS to the best in the business, Jane Deus Hinch. Jane is a British wedding planning superstar who's here to grant Daryl and Camilla three wishes to save the day. And Jane's boy wonder Michael is also here to assist in the magic. Oh, for goodness sake. But this wedding isn't the only thing all mucked up. Oh, my shoes. Hi, Jane and Camilla. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I got your wedding SOS. Yes. What seems to be the problem? First things first, Daryl's late, as usual. So he's always late? He's always late. My first impression of Daryl, turning up late, on the phone, exceptionally rude. Catch the scripture, wash all this. Hey, let me give you a call back, all right? All right. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Jane. So nice you could make it. Yep. So this is where you're getting married? Isn't it beautiful? And what happens if it rains? Pray for it to stop raining. Am I talking to an adult? Next problem? It doesn't be the amount of people. As of last count that I really heard of, it was about 2.15 or 2.08 or something in that vicinity. Why don't you know who's coming to your wedding? The list has been uh, growing because um, my mom's inviting all of her friends. How many more unexpected people could join us? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You, you know, you're in the wedding game. You know how it goes. Daryl and I, we're going to be the best of friends. Have you got a DJ booked? Yeah, I got a DJ. But no playlist. Stretch. And is he going to turn up? Of course. He's a buddy of mine. I went to school with him. Have you paid him a deposit? But actually, I did put a deposit. I bought a case of beer. Is this a wedding or a pub crawl? Are the guests having programs when they arrive? Well... We've actually got the program. Yeah, we were supposed to call him and meet him, man. But uh, yeah. he didn't even come back and... Uh, Are you having a wedding rehearsal? We have one that we want to set up for the Saturday before. This is sounding worse and worse by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, for Saturday. I think it's assumed. Yeah, though. I think it's assumed. Yeah, they pretty Never much... assume. That's very true. Okay. Never assume. It just solidifies what I've been feeling before. Like, you don't have enough time and so many things to do. Everything could be done. Everything will be all right. Of course. After the first uh, successful sit down, Jane gets the couple up and running and she's set to dig in her heels. Guys, I refuse to get these shoes damaged. I'm going to change my shoes. Metaphorically, of course. Heels do not work. OK, this is where the cars are all coming in. We've got 200 guests. We could have 100 cars here. Right. There's your first problem. We're getting out of the car. 
We have dress, we have veil, we have shoes, we have attendance. Right. And we start the walk. And I can see that this is going to be an interesting walk. Yeah. The cedar arm. We have lots of sticks, we yes. have brambles, we have a few thorns. Who's holding the dress, or is the dress dragging in this? What are you going to do? It's going to work itself out, you know? If it's raining, mm -hmm. can you picture yourselves up there with umbrellas? Maybe a beach-style kind of big umbrella. It's not Something funny, like Daryl. This is our wedding. Like... I'm serious, well, no, OK, I'll stand on the umbrella, and you can stand on the rain. <laughs> I'll be all right. With a week to go, we need, we need a plan. I don't think she was too impressed. No, I don't think she was impressed with you either, Daryl. I don't know where to start with this one. While Jane jets off to work out a plan to save this disaster, Camilla's mom works on inviting the other half of the world. I'm calling you right now to find out if it's too much people. I mentioned it to her, and I let her know how I feel. Mom, we're at 200 already. That's enough. She heard me. I don't think she's doing anything about it, but I think she's heard me. With my mother, I feel like she's getting married, and it's not me. Well, Camilla's fairy godmother is here to turn this frown upside down with her plan of action. And she's brought reinforcement. Her assistant, Michael. My wonderful assistant, Mike, is going to put the things here up on the board, OK? We started at the ceremony site. We've got to assign the cleaning of it, the grass cutting. That's just one big issue. Walking down the aisle, this music, this is on CD. Yes. Daryl, is this yours? Yes, but I need to get the CD. Once I get the CD, boom. The guest list. Nothing is going to work without that magic number. Mum, who have you invited? How many people are we waiting for replies? It's just going to be like a catalogue of horrors because you don't know how many people are coming, you don't know whether they're sitting, you don't know... Oh, it's just... it's just... huge. Got to organise that car parking. You are joking. Meeting that we're going to have with the pastor. The running order, we've got to get that typed because you'll need to do a proof and then the actual printing of it. That's sheet one. Yeah, sheet oh, one. we got work to do. <laughs> this wedding. My goodness me, where do I start? Hair and makeup. That's my favorite. Go book hair and makeup so that I know you're going to be the most beautiful bride. So all of this has got to happen in a week. But as you know, I can give you three wishes. You think about it and you tell me what your first wish, what you need the most help with. Make every wish count. Right now, I'm feeling anxiety. It's getting close to the wire, and I don't know if things are going to come together. With just days away to the wedding, they waste no time and cash in their first wish. We need you to help us arrange our guest list for us. Get the number. We need that number. So yes, I'll help you with that wish. While Camilla absorbs the harsh reality, Daryl just soaks in his smugness. Well, he's a little disorganized. A little? A little. Oscar could do better. Camilla and Daryl are getting hitched in seven days, and they need all hands on deck. But the bride is about to abandon ship because her mom is overloading it with passengers. Are you coming? Yes, I'm coming. And she's ignoring Camilla's cries for help. I feel like she's getting married and not me. So Jane Dea's Hinch is here to save the day with three wedding wishes. First wish, put a stop to the mother of a bride who's creating a mother of a guest list. I'm feeling really worried about this wedding. And if I'm worried, they certainly should be worried. When Camilla arrived, she was so down. Camilla, you've got some concerns. One of my main concerns is people were replying after the RSVP date and we're still accepting them a week to the wedding. The culture says that we should be laid back and we shouldn't hustle. And if they don't have the decency to write back or even call us or whatever, why are we catering to, to these people? We don't have the kind of money just to be like, oh, OK, sure, yes. come on. Mm -hmm. It's too expensive. One or two we can live with, mm -hmm. 20. We can't. I've got the kids, I've got the house coming up, I'm on maternity leave, and it's like, oh, but they're, they just told me today that they're coming. That's another, like, three, four people. I'm glad it's come to a head, and I'm glad it's today, and not next Saturday. When I was asking for the help last week, I wasn't getting it. Who are you asking? My mom and Daryl. OK, so now everything that you want, you tell me, because we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. The table plan, the place settings and everything, it will all come from the magic number, so we don't have this problem. Mm -hmm. Anybody that hasn't replied, we give them a phone call. It's a yes or no. I'm just excited to have a child like her, so I want to celebrate with my friends. Camila, mm -hmm. tonight you'll have your list. You'll have all of my numbers. OK. Have I granted your first wish? 
Yes. Oh. That's what we want. It's the wedding. Thanks, Jane. You're the greatest. So that's all clear. But now Jane moves on to another problem. Daryl. I'm going to keep pressing that button till he gets, he gets the message. So after Jane grants Camilla's first wish, they walk her through the reception hall. And then Jane walks them through the wedding. Picture yourselves here now. Here's all your friends and family gathered here in front of you. At the end of the meal, everyone goes, fantastic. So now, would you please welcome onto the dance floor. Daryl does not know how to dance. You've got 200 eyes looking at you. I can still pull out a, a move or two here or there. Daryl, show me. Come on. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Tell me you're not going to do that for three minutes. No, we can cut it down to a minute. That's too fast, Daryl. <laughs> oh, don't drop her. OK. Thank you. And back. I was hoping to impress you, but I don't know, maybe on the day. Everything's on the day. <laughs> 200 people watching. I think we really could work on the dance. It's our special day, remember? If I pretend I can it's broke the... my foot. No. No, no, no. We need some dance lessons. I want us to look really good for our first dance and on our special night, so I think it's a really worthwhile wish. Now, think of everything that you've got to do with the wedding. Are you sure this is what you want to do? I don't know why she would request it, but she said yes, so we're sure about it. OK, guys. Yeah. Let's boogie. Dance lessons. That's pretty good when you've got 50 things you need help with. We'll just go dancing. It's a party. But the next day isn't much of a party for Daryl and Camilla when they talk about the centerpieces. What do you think? I don't know. It's just not really doing it for me. Whatever, man. Let me see you do better. I think you should let me handle the centerpieces. You're going to take everything away from me? I don't want... No, you've had your time, and now it is mine. I'm already <laughs> putting effort into this, Daryl. I'm not happy with it. We're not using it. This is a centerpiece, and this is what's going on. I feel like Daryl just doesn't acknowledge that I have a, some kind of talent that seems like he doesn't care. So as usual, Daryl's unfazed. But a call from his good buddy DJ soon changes that. Hello? Hey, DJ, how's it going? What? <sighs> You're leaving me in a tough situation. I thought we sealed it over the beer and the handshake, bro. We're going straight from the wedding to the divorce, it might seem like. OK, Jay. Thank you. Daryl is such a laid-back groom to be, he's horizontal. He just doesn't get it. We're going to get it done. I know we will. I'm, I'm confident. But bride Camilla is wound up tighter than a garter belt. I feel like it's always on, it's all on me. Fortunately, nuptial fairy godmother Jane Deus Hinch has swooped in to save their wedding and grant them three wishes. Wish one, stop Camilla's mom from inviting everyone she's ever met. And today, they're on to wish two which is getting schooled and getting down. This is Chachi, your dancing teacher. All right, the happy days. Yeah. Yay. yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. How you doing? Uh, I think the thing to do is just to start by showing me a little bit of what you got. Oh, my foot. I'm sorry. It's you who need the lesson, not me. I'm hurting his eyes. <laughs> While Daryl and Camilla cut some tile, Brenda's at home cutting to the chase. I'm looking for a yes or a no whether you're going to come to the wedding. All right, so it's a no. Okay. And back at the dance studio, Daryl and Camilla are creating beautiful, uh, something together. Forward. Forward. Watch your toes. <laughs> and Michael and Jane are dancing to the beat of their own very strange drum. OK, try it again. Go step forward. Forward. Watch your toes. Try it again. <laughs> together. Take okay. smaller steps. You got that? Okay, go forward. <laughs> I lose it after that. Try it again. <laughs> OK, OK. Hello. Hey. So Jane has granted the couple their wish. Oh, yeah. you can't be serious. But it looks like Twinkle Toes has hung up his dance shoes. Today, with only four days to the wedding, Jane has become a gumshoe because she can't help but be a little doubtful about Daryl. When Daryl says he's going to do something, I'm making sure he's going to do it. So when Daryl emerges from the tuxedo shop without a tuxedo in hand... Where's your tux? Jane wants to strangle him with a cummerbund. It's had a different story, they say. We could have done without this. Daryl, go. On a mission. Every time she opens her mouth, she scares the hell out of me. I can either be his best friend or his worst enemy. 
My rings in yet? I told you he's not gonna be ready for today. He's for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, oh. we talked about it uh, like two days ago. And finally, Mr. Cool is starting to sweat. <laughs> You know, that's the way it goes, but I'm not, everything will still get done. A little. It's like, is anybody bothered? The next day, Detective Jane becomes Dr. Jane as she does her rounds. Rings? Did Daryl get the rings? He hasn't picked them up yet. I feel like putting a bum under Daryl. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, we need to uh, get working on place cards. One thing I picked up on was, on your replies, it's got one person's name bringing three guests. Are you going to put Mr. Smith's guest? Because you haven't got their names, have you? No, I don't. I guess we'll be doing a lot more phone calls. So. Looking at how much they've got to do now and how much time they've got to do it in, can they do it? I don't know. The next day at the wedding site, oh Daryl has found a new enemy, Mother Nature. Everything is just coming crashing down. Everything is just snapping, and I just want to... And there's also something weighing heavily on Camilla's mind, a big, fat rain cloud. This is not good. No, it's this not. This is not good. For once, Daryl and Camilla are on the same page, so he calls Jane. They're forecasting rain, forecasting huge thunderstorms. I don't know, I was just wondering if there's something, anything you might be able to do. Please don't ask me to make it stop raining, because I can't do that one. Well, <laughs> some kind of canopy or some something that will help us. And when he says canopy, he's not talking about mini quiche. So you want me to get a canopy for 200 people and put it up here? Jane, I'm gonna have to pull out my third wish. <sighs> That's a wish, my goodness me. The way everything has been going. With your luck, we'll have a thunderstorm. <sighs> How are we gonna do this? Do you know? So the next day, Jane goes to her happy place and confers with her right-hand man about what lays ahead. I'm going to London now for right. a couple of days. She'll be back in time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, flight's booked. Um, the tent's booked, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Or is there? When Daryl and Camilla's wedding plans went off the rails... Nothing's on time, nothing's done. Superstar wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch granted them three wishes to get it back on track. Curb Camilla's mom from inflating the guest list, get the couple to bust a move, and then get rainy day insurance for the wedding ceremony. But will it be enough? Today is the wedding day, and problem number one, the groom has gone AWOL. Daryl! We are missing the groom, which tends to be a little bit of a problem. Daryl, answer the phone. And Camilla has her own problems. Colin. Yes. Have you gone yet? Huh? Have you gone yet? No. Gone where? To um, the east. Well, I haven't gone yet, because... Okay, they we're supposed to pick up the menu cards since yesterday. The lady's been calling the house like every hour. So are we gonna be leaving soon or yeah. you just, uh, yeah. just pick them up and we'll take it from there. And you need to like go like five minutes ago. But all this angst may be for naught if Michael can't find the groom. He decided to basically just take off and go somewhere. And that where is I don't know. But we do know where Jane is, delayed in London. I'm grounded. I'm absolutely stuck. Are you serious? I tell you, if I could get a shuttle from NASA, I would. This isn't good. No, it's not good. In all my years as a wedding planner, I have never missed one wedding. Michael, this is a Jane wedding, and I'm counting on you. OK. I know you can do it. This is the one. And if you don't, I'll string you up. Michael's left hanging. But Camilla is on solid ground, thanks to her mom. I'm going to be the rock for them today. I'm coming to her and giving her this day from my heart. I don't want to do this. Camilla? Yes, mom? Come on down, babes. Wow. You're gorgeous. It's a special day of your life. And I want to present this gift to you. It's a handkerchief with a little bit of blue in it. Mm. And I want you to hold it as you go down the aisle. So, take this. And you look gorgeous. You're my baby. Don't do that, Bobby. Thank you. You're Meanwhile, over at the ceremony site, Michael is about to shed tears of his own. Did Camilla's mom invite these guys, too? What should I do? Like, they're just, they're on motorcycles, Jane. Motorcycles? I'll, I'll talk to the guy in charge. We'll go and sort it out. Okay, I'm on it. 
We have a wedding here at 2 o'clock, so is, are we going to be in your way at all? Uh, we're out of here in 15, 20 minutes. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, nothing's done. Jane, it's, it's a mess. There's mud everywhere. Goodness me, what next? Is this the theme for the day? This is about how many? Um, 280. 280? OK, I could have sworn Jane said it was 200 people. Jesus! It might only be 199, because they still can't find the groom. Oh, what a do for a gin and tonic now. Here's the groom. Have you seen the groom? But he emerges, and it appears he's got a little salt on that tongue. <laughs> here, film us from behind. Here, come behind. Just don't film us from the front, because you guys are going to get run over. You're slowing me down. Here, come, 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 come. Just While Daryl spontaneously combusts, Camilla and family roll in smoothly. I just picked up my wedding bells. I had to knock on somebody's door. I left them at home. So the groom is accounted for. But how about the weather? Thank God we have the tent because it still may rain. And it's definitely getting stormy for Daryl. Where the is the wedding planner? I need this camera to stay out. You got to come behind me, please. I don't like it in my face. Okay. That's the thing. Okay, let's talk to me. Michael manages to pacify Daryl. The sun comes out, and the real show starts. We are gathered together here to witness the union of Daryl and Camilla and holy marriage. Wedding invitations to people. I do. You may kiss the bride. I'm happy, I'm proud, I'm elated. It was everything I hoped for. Well, we clearly didn't have to use the tent today because the sun did shine. Now we're off to the reception. Do you have the program? No. Do you know where the money basket is? The money? No, I don't. We're missing some of the name tags. Well, hopefully, the bride and groom know where they're sitting because they've arrived. <laughs> And the party is just getting started. We love Jane, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, and I really do mean it. Jane is totally amazing. Jane, we love you, Jane. Come on! You got a kiss! Yeah, we go! Thank you. It was very difficult without Jane, but I hope I made her proud. And Daryl would have made her proud because at least he didn't step on his bride's feet for the first dance. We enjoyed the dance lessons. Chachi was good. We liked Chachi. Chachi was cool. And so was the weather. Just in case it wasn't, they had wish number three, the tent. I'm very much appreciative of it, but I'm very glad that we never had to use it. My wedding day was, was, was perfect. It was great. I want to thank you guys, SOS, for coming into our lives and making a difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jane. All right, see you guys later. Well, pumpkin? What do you think? You came through. Really? Unscathed, that little pretty face. Thanks, boss. I learned from the best. Of course. <sighs> I'm in stilettos with an umbrella carrying a dog. Okay. Why, God?